In today's edition of the Swing Report, Thomas will test the newest iron offering from Cobra, the Cobra LTDX irons. If you want to hear his final thoughts on this testing session, skip to the final chapter of this video. In the meantime, leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Welcome back to another edition of the Swing Report. My name is Michael Geiger. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, master fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. Thomas, today we're looking at the Cobra LTDX irons. We've got kind of the Rad Speed irons, their, their previous model here for reference. Kind of what jumps out to you immediately from these new LTDX irons? Yes, yeah, so I always love looking at the specs and I'm always curious to see the lofts. Mm -hmm. um, so first thing I'm, I'm seeing here is seven iron now 26 and a half degrees aloft. Uh, also the pitching wedge is also half a degree stronger. So from the seven iron through pitching wedge, half a degree stronger than the Cobra Rad Speed. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna expect more explosive distance if, as if we weren't getting enough explosive distance with the Rad Speed as it is. Right, exactly. Yeah. Well, we're talking about explosive. We're, we're talking about the power core technology. That's a multi-layer weighting system. It's a steel bar that's kind of suspended by uh, this polymer that's in the, in the club face. That should really help increase the distance and make it a very hot face. You're also talking about the PowerShell face design, which is really going to, in theory, stretch out that sweet spot and make sure that even those toe and heel hits get a lot of that yardage. Yeah, and also don't forget about the speed and tube weighting. I think what's interesting here is they've changed it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it used to be a 10 gram weight with the rad speed. Now it's an eight gram weight. Um, so it's eight gram weight, but it also can be fine tuned based on swing weight preferences between two grams and 14 grams. Mm -hmm. what, the reason why I say it's interesting is I always, you look at the, the rad speed and you will notice here the carbon fiber out the top. Yep. They saved those two, two grams in the past by having that carbon fiber top line. Well, they've actually gone away from that. So that two grams now is being redistributed back basically into the different spots okay. right off the bat there too. To kind of keep the center of gravity in, in the same spot. But I think it's gonna look a little bit more appealing on the, on the eye. It, it definitely was kind of strange and unique the last couple of models with the Cobra carbon fiber top line. Absolutely. Well, we've talked about the technology. Are you ready to test them? Let's hit some shots. All right, Thomas, you have the LTD X7 iron in your hands. Now, with this being kind of a game improvement, high distance club, you're probably gonna see a little more distance than your typical seven iron. So just kind of for the viewers at home, what's kind of the yardage you usually see out of kind of your gamer? Yeah, I'm, I'm spot on right around about 180 yard carry with my seven iron. Okay. Playing a, a seven iron that does have 34 degrees of loft on it. Mm -hmm. So we're talking here with seven and a half degrees difference. It's kind of almost like two clubs yeah. is, is what it is. So. We're pushing probably over 200 yard carry, I would say, on a clean strike with this okay. particular model. All right, let's see it. As you noted, I'm sure that kind of the lack of that carbon top line is, is very noticeable. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's cleaner. It yeah. definitely looks a little bit cleaner. Uh, I mean, looking down at a dress, the fact that it maybe doesn't have as much loft on it for a seven iron is maybe presenting the looks of less offset on it, but it okay. does have a little bit of offset, but because, once again, it doesn't have as much loft, I don't see it as much. Mm -hmm. I left the face open on that one. But even, even still, it's kind of shocking how, how far I mean, it goes there off the face. It just feels so powerful. It just feels like explosive off the face. Right. A miss hit that gave you two and a half clubs more than your typical 7-iron shot. Yeah. That is, that's a lot of ball speed for a shot where I leave that face <laughs> angle open four degrees. Yeah. Uh, so we might, we might see even higher than that yet. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> we might get to 140 ball speed today. Well, we've broken the 220 ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. If it really says is, it all. Yeah, if distance is what you're after there, I mean, Here's the things. A lot of times, you know, you, you watch these videos of me hitting, uh, clearly I don't, I don't play a game improvement iron, but if you're gonna look at the numbers, even though the spin rate is a lot less, we look at the height, we look at the landing angle, we look at the carry to total, dif to mm -hmm. total difference. We're talking 12 yards, still plenty of stopping power. We're looking, talking 110 feet in the air, landing angle 46.5. So above that 45 degree threshold, I still have some stopping power with these irons. For sure. Even though it's going too far for me, it's still giving me the ability to stop the ball in the green. Absolutely. I mean, I didn't even hit that very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
right? That little little Tully. Yeah. Still again, a good landing angle. Over 110 yeah. feet of height. Right. It just feels explosive off the face. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty good with regards to stop and power. Um, it's spinning a little bit more than what I'm used to seeing out of a very, very strong lofted game of Fruit Iron. I think okay. I've done some other tests in the past and we've seen pushing the high 3000s, very, very low 4000s with the seven iron spin. Now it's 4,500 on, on average. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little bit more spin, which is, which is good, even though the loft's stronger at 26 and a half degrees. Right. Got that spin down a touch. Carry went yeah. over 210. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's still you know 110 feet in the air, 46 degree landing angle. All right, 139, full speed. I don't know if I can hit it better than right. that last swing. Yeah, I mean, four left, one five smash factor. That's, that's right on the screws. <laughs> 215 that carry. Was, that was a good swing, that one. And once again, 12 yards of, of, of stop and power. Pretty, pretty impressive, very, very explosive game improvement. Right. right, I mean, you're talking about your gamer going 180. This is 35 yards more carry than kind of you're used to seeing. Right, uh, one thing I, uh, no, this is initial testing. So this is the first club that we've got. Mm -hmm. When we do get, you know, other fitting components and we can test them for different shafts out. So this is the KBS Tour 90 stiff golf shaft. Yep. It's lighter than I would normally play. It's quite significantly, it's about 30 grams lighter than what I'd normally play. Okay. My club speed, you'll notice I was pushing almost 92, 93 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. I probably don't normally swing that fast and I think it's the shaft and also the, the head feeling a little bit lighter than what I'm used to as right. well. Okay. So for those golfers that are looking for like a, a little bit extra club speed there too, this does feel pretty light. It does feel like it's easy to generate a little bit more speed. Absolutely. All right. We've seen the LTDX in action. Now, using that as a baseline, let's compare it to kind of the rad speed. Sounds good. All right, Thomas, you've got the rad speed seven iron in your hands. Again, as we've mentioned a couple of times, you've got that kind of carbon top line, the return of that. Uh, any kind of, now that you've hit, or you've seen both, kind of what are the big kind of appearance differences looking down at it? Yeah, I mean, this, this is pretty obvious that you're seeing this at a dress. Um, I like it without the carbon, carbon top line. I think it just is just, there's too much going on. Mm -hmm. um, even still, like if I was gonna put the two clubs down next to each other, I think they'll still look pretty similar at a dress. It just looks like it doesn't have the, the carbon on it anymore. Right. Yeah, I would say if anything, maybe, now it also be, could be because it's a, a newer club versus our fitting club, but it looks like it's just a little bit shinier. Okay. The, the face, well, from what I'm seeing here, it looks like it's, I mean, it's, it's a brand new face, but it just looks like the rad speed face was just a little bit darker. Well, this face here just looks like it's a little bit shinier overall too. Okay. So that's what I'm kind of noticing. Otherwise, pretty similar. It just doesn't have that, that carbon top line on it anymore. One twenty-seven height. That is. That's, that's quite a bit higher number. than the other. It's actually significantly higher. Right off the bat, 222. Yeah, this is actually quite shocking to see how, how high the ball is, is flying with the rad speed versus the LTDX. I was just kind of looking at the, the averages before mm -hmm. with the LTDX. Um, and I was, it was consistently just around about 110 feet in the air. Yep. Those two are about 125 feet in the air. So it's, you know, it's a different ball flight. Significant. That just sounded a lot louder than the other model. I think the, the rad speed's just a little bit louder. Yeah, that's actually what I was gonna ask you, kind of the sound characteristics. We know that kind of the appearance looking down is pretty different, yeah. but it seems like there's also a pretty big audio difference as well. Yeah, I, that one just felt like it just sounded a lot echoey. We're inside, so I'm going to hear 
more of an echo, but that one just, it just rattled. I could definitely sure. notice it. All right, so that last one was a little miss it. I think the first shot I hit with the LTD X was a miss hit. I left the face a little more open. Okay. And the last shot I hit a little low on the face, a little, little pull. So maybe we'll keep the best five of six up and then we'll take a look at the, the averages here. So let's work on eliminating out those, those shots. So probably that one and then the first shot, shot one. Now if we take a look at the averages, we should be able to kind of dissect See if there's anything really to dissect. Yeah, these absolutely. Two clubs. So, I mean, this is a great test again. Club speed basically identical, 92.9, 93.0. Uh, rad speed, kind of interesting. A little bit more ball speed mm -hmm. than the the LTDX. Now we're talking about just a touch, uh, but I mean, smash factor numbers kind of is always Pretty always similar. funny because I'm sure I'm going to get a few comments about about that. It's it's the loft of the golf club, and it's also the way I compress the ball. Yep with a very, very shallow attack angle. It's going to leave very, very high efficiency numbers. It is possible to get smash factors that high. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we're noticing ball speed there, separated by about half a mile an hour. But the rad speed, it launched higher and spun, no, it launched higher and flew higher. We're talking 11 feet higher overall with a de landing angle a couple of degrees higher overall. A little bit more stopping power. Yeah, a little bit more stopping power. So. It's really going to depend on the on the golfer and what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. I think when you get, it depends on the on the model and how it's designed and where the center of gravity is. But we're talking half a degree stronger. Less loft sometimes does make it harder to get the ball up near. Right. And we're we're noticing here we're 26 and a half versus 27 degrees with the rad speed the model before. We're talking 10 feet. And that's quite significant there in, in the height. Absolutely. Um, if we take a look at the dispersion pattern, we can also take a look and see how I was hitting them. And you can see total distance, they're right around the same. I'd say carry distance, they're going to be right around the same. Actually, let's look at the numbers here briefly again. Yeah, so, I mean, 212.6, 211.6. LTDX was just, go, just carrying just a little bit shorter. Yep. But then you'll notice the total distance actually flip-flops. Mm -hmm. So we can see 223.7, 223.4. And that's the loft. But even still, we're seeing uh, 12 yards of stopping power with the LTDX. We're talking 11 yards of stopping power with, with the rad speed. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the rad speed kind of held its own. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. But Absolutely. if you're a golfer that spins the ball a lot, you hit that high fade or hit that shot, steep attack angle, and you, you're, you're spin, you hit a lot of spin, mm -hmm. that the rad speed and also the LTDX are going to be spin killers. But if you hit the ball very, very high, and you're trying to get that height to drop a little bit, LTDX might just fly, be, might just be the club for you. Absolutely. Well, Thomas, you've tested. Are you ready to give your final thoughts on the LTDX irons? All right. Well, Thomas, time to give your final thoughts on the LTDX irons. In the testing phase, we used the previous models. Rad speed irons as kind of a baseline, kind of a reference point. How would you describe kind of how the LTDX irons held up in your testing? Yeah, it's, uh, we noticed the spin rate, I think we're kind of talking mid, low to uh, 4,000s. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's spinning a little bit more than a couple other game improvement models that we've tested earlier in 2022. Um, the height was around about 110 feet in the air. But I do want to just talk about the consistency. And the one thing I was really impressed with was the, the consistency when I was hitting regards to height. And when we take a look here, 110, 108, 110, 111, 110, 111. Mm -hmm. uh, when we're hitting the, the rad speed, 97, 117, 118, 117, 125, 127. Right. So those numbers were more consistent. So I, I think I was getting a little bit more consistency out of it, but it was flying just a little bit lower overall. Right. So you're seeing, I think, potentially kind of that PowerShell phase design, a little, maybe a bit more consistency, a little bit more forgiveness, kind of a little more penetrating ball flight versus kind of the rad speed well, some imp admittedly impressive distance numbers, maybe a touch more inconsistent. Yeah, just a little bit, little bit less consistent. I think they're just been working, the technology has helped them out there too. I think it's just gonna fit a golfer that spins the ball a lot. Okay. So a golfer that their attack angle is fairly steep, um, 
I, I would be worried if someone, you know, had slow club speed and was trying to play the, the uh, LTD X, um, if they don't hit down the ball enough, is that release. I think the ball is going to just roll out. Now, okay. if you're, all you care about is total distance, it's for sure going to go really far total distance. But the carry distance would be my only concern when you've got 26 and a half degrees of, of loft on, on a seven iron. So it really depends on how a golfer delivers that club. Okay. So and it's not gonna be for everyone. It's not gonna be for everyone. It's just, it's gonna go far. But end of the day, we still wanna focus on that carry distance. We still wanna talk about that height. Right, and you say it falls kind of in that game improvement category. Yeah, definitely in the game improvement category. It's not the largest game improvement category, you know, iron that I've, that I've hit. So mm -hmm. it definitely looks sleeker. Okay. Sleeker doesn't have the carbon fiber on the top. I think the top line looks pretty clean now with, without it. Um, my only concern, obviously, is just the is, is the carry distance and, and the height right. that you're going to hit it. And it's going to come down to the way the golfer delivers the club. It's, right. it's definitely going to fit a lot of for a lot of golfers. But my concern, obviously, would be just how high you hit, hit it and what you need out of stopping power. So that's, that's important to discuss with your club fitter. For sure. When you're, you were talking about the club fitting, what you want out of the fitting, just keep that in mind. For sure. And we encourage all golfers to come into second swing and get fit for their new irons. Perhaps they'll have you take a look at the new Cobra LTDX irons, an iron with a very traditional shape, but very explosive distance. Thomas, thank you again for your time. Thanks for watching.